Hey everybody, it's Doc Green, the Road Scholar, coming back at you. Anyway, today I'm going to go over the Dart Lisa program again for a lot of you because a lot of you keep coming up with questions and everything. I'm going to try to answer all the questions I can see that I remember hearing about and everything. So we're going to go on and try to get all this started for you real quick, okay? So first thing I want to mention is if you go to the Dart webpage, which is at, uh, I don't know, Dart, uh, workfordart.com. They got a few of the things listed here, and I'm going to go over those real quick with you. And then I want to tell you the other things that are involved in the Dart Lease beyond what they put on their page. Okay, they say on here, first of all, top earners make $200,000 plus per year. Yeah, you may make $200,000, but that's not how much money you're taking home. I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? You're going to take home anywhere from about eighty to $100,000. Uh, some guys make a little bit less because... Uh, Let's face it, some of these drivers want to be home every weekend. I don't get it. But, you know, if you, the more you're home, the less you're going to make. I'm averaging this year, I'm going to probably take home about 120000 this year. Um, some drivers, I would say the average take home is about anywhere from seventy to 85000 Okay, uh, all drivers qualify for our new pay package. Yeah, okay, here's the pay package. If you're loaded and you're running, you get a dollar fifteen a mile. If you're unloaded in between runs, like deadheading or whatever, you're gonna get a dollar five a mile. That's it. You know, it's dollar fifteen, dollar five. Um, you get two pay options: percentage pay or mileage pay. That is correct. Now I know a lot of guys ask me about the percentage thing, how much money you make on that. And everything. I can't really tell you because of the mere fact that I don't do percentage. I do the per mile. Now the percentage pay is sixty-five percent. Um, from what I hear from other companies, that's pretty low percentage wise. A lot of other companies pay a lot higher. However, I will say that I hear from a lot of other companies that they sit around and sometimes they don't get loads or anything. Dark keeps you moving. That's so, but you got to justify that for yourself. I chose per mile pay because I want to know, you know, minimum what I'm making each, you know, I know how many miles I want to drive each week and everything and how I'm going to get paid on that. And I know my paycheck each week is going to be roughly between 15 and 1800 a week now i am i'll get down to one of my new things here later on my other thing uh percentage pay 65 percent and some drivers are weight and yeah some drivers do really well from what i hear other drivers are complaining about it and everything the ones i see complaining basically want to wait for extremely light loads and extremely long miles and they'll sit there and wait two or three days to get it so with that in mind that's probably why they're uh you know, not doing so well. But uh, a lot of the guys that are doing percentage, though, they keep running, and I hear they're doing really, really well. So take that for what it's worth. You talk to some of those guys out here if you see them. I'm a mileage pay, and I like that just fine. No money down. That is correct. No money down. Multiple route types based on your location. Yeah, that's true. I do OTR mostly. Uh, right now I'm on a special project with... Uh, with the Walmart account and everything, but uh, you can get onto uh, special accounts, you know, with the GP and some other dedicated runs. And I heard some of them are real good, some of them aren't so good, whatever. I don't know. I'm mostly OTR. Um, I did this this one account I'm on right now, and I'm getting paid six fifty a day plus fuel surcharge. I'm taking home on average per week on this account about nineteen eighty to twenty two hundred a week. Um, it's supposed to last to the end of the year. I don't know if it's going to or not, but that's what I'm making on it. Um, I can't complain. I'm only running about 250 to 400 miles a day, 450 sometimes, um, and still making 650 a day plus fuel surcharge. So yeah, I'm not going to complain about that at all. But they have other accounts out here. You know, everything these pop up, pop down, whatever you know. So uh, go in there. Make sure you talk to some other guys. Make sure you know what you're getting into before you go sign that lease. Anyway, so from there, uh, we got, huh, what else we got? Uh, we got no driver facing cameras. Well, big whoop. I'm not gonna drive a company that has to keep an eye on me anyway. Company drivers at Dart do have company or driver facing cameras. And I personally, I wouldn't work for a company. If they feel like they can't trust me enough to drive without look, watching me and everything, then I don't need to work for them. Period. Not gonna have no be guys be micromanaging me like that. Uh, Great fuel discounts and fuel surcharge. That is true. They got some great fuel discounts. Up to uh, I've had I saved up to forty cents a gallon. Uh, fuel surcharge is pretty impressive. It, it, it's, it's average. I don't gonna say it's great. It's average. Uh, impressive equipment. Lease of twenty twenty for only twenty two hundred a month. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this again. 
anytime you're leasing equipment, you gotta go out there and you gotta check that equipment out yourself. You know what I'm saying? That it may look all pretty, cause you know, they wash it, they make it look all good and everything. You better go over that equipment. I'm talking about you better check the hoses, fluid levels, get around the gases, get in there and look close. Get in there, I'm talking about put your spectacles on and get in there and look at that and see. Any leaks, anything, anything they're trying to come to the wipe it, that's pretty good. You know, I haven't really seen them try to hide anything. But you know, some companies do. Um, I, there was nothing wrong with my truck. The only thing that was wrong with my truck, and I mentioned this before when I bought it, the alignment was off. There's no way I would have been able to tell that until I started driving it. I had new tires on the front end, so of course it took about a month, month and a half for the tires to start wearing before I was able to tell I had an alignment issue. I put it in the shop, I got it fixed. I haven't really had any major problems with my truck other than that. Okay, so I will say, you know, impressive equipment, I, they're like everyone else. They're gonna do the best they can. Um, but I won't say like everyone else because a lot of companies don't, you know, they try to hide stuff from you. But Dart will, you know, try to get everything fixed on the truck and everything, make sure you're driving with good equipment out there. Cause they can't, Dart keeps you running and they aren't making any money if you aren't making any money. Simple as that. And I heard some guys say, well, I send the truck in three times for the same problem. You know, some, sometimes trucks just happen, you know, and that's not Dart's fault. And for since they're trying to blame Dart for that, that's just kind of stupid on my part. You know what I mean? I, the way I see it, you can't blame the trucking company because the truck breaks down. Come on, guys. Be for real. We all know that it's a, it's a, it's a machine. And some machines are going to work better than others. You know, depending on who drove it before you, who had it taken care of it and everything else, if they maintained it correctly, you can't, you can't get mad at the company for that. Especially if you're not checking it out right. Uh, they said payment and maintenance account savings of nine ninety five a month. Yep. That is true. And, and like I told everyone before, by the time I pay my truck off, there's a balloon payment at the end, because I'm not gonna lie to anyone out here, there's a balloon payment at the end. And so by the time I pay my truck off, I'll have that balloon payment to pay at the end, and mine's about 15,000, and I know a lot of people, oh, bar gold, you're paying, look, my choice, but I'm doing. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You turn it back in or whatever you want to do. I'm paying mine off, 15,000, and I'll still have enough money in my maintenance accounts to buy another truck, cash. Can't complain about that. Up to $2,000 referral bonus. Yeah. Um, make sure if anyone, and like I'll, I'll tell y'all here in just a minute, guys, if you're gonna use me, please use my driver number 86187, but also leave a message on here to let me know that you applied for the company and everything, because yeah, you kind of have to watch them on that. I don't know why, but it, it's it's a strong fight trying to keep your full. And people say, oh, well, I don't go with any company that I can't trust. It's not that. It's just that uh, some guys forget to put referral to your driver number on here, 86187. So it helps if you, you know, text me on here so I can call them also and let them know that you're signing up and this is my driver number and everything. Sometimes stuff gets lost in paperwork. So I just prefer if you let me know that you're, going to sign up and that way I will go ahead and let them know he's coming on. This is my driver number and everything. And yes, there is $2,000 referral bonus. I think it's $1,000 up front and then another thousand like a month later. Available equipment for independent contractors and highway sales. I got 2017 through 2020 Freightliner Cascadias or Kenworth T680s. Yep, sure do. Um, they also got 2022 Peterbilts coming soon. That's not coming soon. They're, 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 they're here now. So you can get one of those. Um, I did a 2017 Kenworth for three year lease. Now they got some older trucks that you can lease through other groups and everything that are, cost, that are only like one year lease and two year leases. I chose a three year lease, just what I did. I went, you know, I talked to some of the guys, drove some of the older trucks and uh, some of their trucks were in the shop a lot and everything that they were pretty well beaten up. So I chose a truck that's a little bit newer. I went over it, made sure it wasn't as beat up or you know, wasn't you know, anything majorly wrong with it. I've been driving it for a year and a half and doing really well with it. Okay, average weekly cost for independent contractors. Truck payments as low as 437. Yep, as low as 437. My truck payment is higher than that. Um, insurance. It is $163, the Omnitrack ELD, little, they got another one called Person, whatever it's called. Those run $15 a week. Base plates, $34 a week. Dart Escrow, $23 a week. Uh, the FHE2, uh, $64. Maintenance is anywhere from six to nine cents per mile. 
Guys, even if you take all this stuff and you combine it together and you take it out, I'm still taking home about 1,800, you know, 1,500 to 1,800 normally on these other pop-up things I'm doing about 2,000, 2,300 a week. So just let that you know, you can make some pretty good money out of here. Don't let these numbers scare you. What do we have? Driver's requirements. Here we go. Must have a class A CDL. Who would have thunk it? What? Anyway, must be at least 21 years of age. What? Um, guys, in all honesty, you got to be at least 22 years of age because you have to have 12 months tractor trailer experience required for independent contractors, which means we know we can't get our CDL till we're 21. If you have to have at least 12 months, that means really the requirement age is 22. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> just having fun with it. Uh, pay rates and incentives vary by select areas and subject to change without notice. That is true. I'm, the information I'm giving you is available is right now. Now, things they don't tell you on this page is that when you start, you also get the first two weeks of driving. You don't have to make a truck payment. So that'd be an extra as, as low as, truck pay as low as 437. Actually, mine's about 500, five something. Um, that, that gave me an extra $2,000 or, I'm sorry. Yeah, about an extra, yeah, about an extra two thousand dollars because my truck payments were a little bit higher but i got the first two to three weeks free so i ran that and i collected that money up and you will too i think it's the first two weeks without making a truck payment now you still have to pay for everything else you still have to pay for your insurance your only track base plate all that but they gave me a full tank of fuel which saved guys y'all know the price of fuel out here y'all know you know so that right there saved me about four hundred dollars right just leaving um plus i got my truck payments free that week and the next week, so yeah, I got about a $2,000 jump on that to go out here with. Um, another advantage that they don't tell you on here, and I don't know why they don't talk about this more, is you get paid after each trip. Now guys, that's a great thing, and I love that about DART, and the reason is is because, well, I'm sorry, the next day. You get paid, you do a fifth trip, the very next day you get paid. Um, the reason I like that is because we've all heard the horror stories, and I keep talking about this on here. I know it's, it's like beating a dead horse sometimes, of where drivers go out here, they go to work for a company, um, they quit, they leave the company, whatever. There's a separation, they get fired, whatever, and they the company tries to screw them out of their money. You know, that's what they like about Dart paying us after every load, you know, pay us next day, is because I've already got my check. So me, Dart, and have a separate pay, a party other ways, uh, I, I've already been paid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good on with that. Um, what else can I tell you advantages about dark guys listen up I have seen a lot of guys company drivers and everything and I'm going to be honest with you if I had the experience if I got at least 12 years or 12 months experience tractor trailer and everything I'm going to lease purchase with dark I'm not even going to go company here's the problem with going company because a lot of guys and I was going to do this at first I'm glad I changed my mind at the end a lot of things is they'll go company driver at first and then they expect to go lease purchase. The company doesn't really like that because they've already set up, got you in the truck. They've already set up a lot of time and everything. So they would rather, if once you go company, stay with the company at least six months before moving to a lease purchase. Just to let you know, that's their preference. I've talked to a couple of recruiters. They've all said the same thing. Um, so if, if you're going to go lease purchase, make sure you got your five ten thousand saved up at the bank and jump on it straight in the lease purchase if you come over to this company. If you want to go uh, give it a shot with the, the, the company first to see how well that works out, do that. But be, be warned that you it'll be six months before you get the lease purchase if you do it that way. Um, other than that, guys, I really, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've had a great time at DART. DART has always treated me really well, as you can see on my other videos. I've never had a problem with DART. The only issues I've had out here was like my loads weren't ready when I go out there. So, but that's not Dart. That ends up being the customer had misinformed Dart and told them that our loads were ready and they weren't. And so, you know, that's I'm not going to blame that on Dart. I will, however, say that uh, even when that happens and I call in, Dart gets me on another load. I don't sit there and wait. And I, I hate that. And I know they go, well, you get so much money detention pay. Not worth it to me. I make more money with my truck rolling. Fact. I make more money with my truck rolling. I sit in the door, you know, well, I'm just sitting here earning that money. Yeah, you're also burning a gallon of fuel every hour. And I know people say that you don't and everything. I'm reading the meter. You're, you're burning about 0.9 gallons of fuel. 
So I'm already going through $3. If you're only paying, I don't remember what they pay, but I, I make a lot more money if my truck is rolling. <coughs> so anyway, guys, again, if you want to, and I, I'm going to try to put it down here so you don't see my driver number the entire time I'm talking. If you want to get, uh, talk with me more or anything, give me a call, or you can text me at 469-668-1986, or you can email me at d-o-c-k-g-i-v at gmail.com. If you do decide to call a recruiter, go straight to them, and uh, you want to help me out, you know, uh, with the referral bonus, remember my driver number is 86187. That's 86187. And it'll be go scrolling down here at the bottom here the entire time this video is playing. So, you know, please help me out that way. That that does help a lot. Uh, and also, um, guys, by the way, if you're watching this channel, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit that bell notification. It helps me out a lot. I'm not saying you're gonna have to watch every one of my videos or anything, but you know, all it does tell you, hey, hey, you got a video, just skip right by it. You know, whatever, if you don't wanna watch it or anything, it might be something that may interest you. You know, but it does help me out a lot on, on my ratings and, and moves me up on, on the viewing on the uh, YouTube. Hey, all right, after I did this video, I kind of realized there were some other questions that were asked. I'm gonna go ahead and address some of those now. One of the questions that was asked was, um, wow, I put some LED light strips up on my ceiling in my living room and they're kind of falling off. I'm gonna protect them up a little bit better. Anyway, uh, some of the questions that were asked was, one was, are all the trucks green? I don't know where they got that from a lot of the, no, there's, there's multiple color trucks that you can choose from, multiple color models you can choose from, years you can choose from. So I wanted to put that on here real quick. Um, someone asked, is there a uh, balloon payment at the end? Yes, there is a balloon payment at the end. There are different amounts for the different trucks. So you're going to have to get a dart and find out which truck you like and find out what the balloon payment is with that one on the end. Uh, one of the other questions was, is this a walkaway lease? No, dart does not have a walkaway lease. Just being honest with you, I'm in it for the long haul. There are, however, ways of getting around that. You can uh, turn your truck in. You're going to Hey, I forget how much it is for the cancellation of the lease program. And uh, a lot of drivers do that because they'll go into DART for, or, and they go into lease purchase programs in general to earn enough money to go out here and put a down payment on with another, with, with a private trucking finance company or something. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. It's not what I'm doing. I'm sticking with DART and paying my trucks off. And like I said, I'll have enough money to buy another one at the end of this lease cash. And then I'll, uh, by the time I'm done, I'm going to own about three trucks, three or four trucks by the time I finish uh, working with uh, driving for Dart. Um, when I say driving for Dart, I may keep my trucks on with Dart. Probably not, though. I'll probably move them over to Intermodal. And some of you have questions about that, I'll do another video on Intermodal and some other ways of placing your trucks once you have them paid for on a different video. But I did want to say, no, the trucks are not all the same model. No, they are not all the same year. And no, they are not all the same color. Some people just had questions about that. So I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that on here real quick too.